is a potentially fatal disease unknown just months ago is spreading so quickly that doctors now say it's a national epidemic. Acquired immune deficiency syndrome, or AIDS, it has already claimed 636 victims, killing 261. Researchers offer little hope for future victims because no one knows what causes AIDS or how to cure it. But there is now conflicting scientific evidence that AIDS can be transmitted through blood transfusions. Ryan White spent the last five years of his young life fighting the virus inside him and the infectious fear and ignorance that surrounded him. I'm not going to allow my child to go to school with Ryan White because I feel that is very unsafe. The number of AIDS cases in the world jumped by 56% last year. More than 73,000 cases of AIDS have now been reported worldwide. Because of the HIV virus that I have attained, uh, I will have to retire from the labor. While giving birth to my first child, I hemorrhaged and was transfused with seven pints of blood. Four years later, I found out that I had been infected with the AIDS virus and had unknowingly passed it to my daughter, Arielle, through my breast milk and my son, Jake, in utero. beaten AIDS yet, but we are getting closer and we remain committed to the fight. My lovely daughter number Chunzi was HIV positive. There was no treatment back then. There was nothing. I knew that my baby was going to die. Nkosi was infected in the womb of a mother already dying with AIDS, then born fatherless into a culture of poverty and a country that by and large punishes those who have the disease. Time has come, but the drugs that stop mother-to-child transmission must be made available to all pregnant women. When the UN General Assembly convenes a special session, it is very often about war. Today, it is the war which needs to be fought against AIDS. I ask the Congress to commit $15 billion over the next five years to turn the tide against AIDS in the most afflicted nations of Africa and the Caribbean. What the United States is trying to do with this program is to help prevent the transmission of AIDS from mother to child. Babies born free of HIV must be a global priority. We've been blessed with another baby boy who's also tested HIV negative. Today, one in seven new infections occurs when a mother passes the virus to her child. We can get that number to zero. We do have the tools, the science is there. You combine that. Uh, what we've learned, what we understand, what we know uh, how to do now, you speak seriously uh, and ambitiously of being able to eliminate pediatric AIDS. 
donors have been especially generous over the last number of years. Let us not shortchange the return on those investments by pulling back now. That makes no sense on, uh, on any level. There's nothing a mother anywhere wouldn't do to protect her child. I think all of us need to fight like a mother would fight.